Welcome back to the Tom Decker Memorial Training Center here in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. My name is Jason MacDonald, one of our technical training specialists here at Manitowoc Ice. Today we are going to talk about a fan that will not run, leading to a high pressure cutout on your Indigo Next ice machine. The principles here will also work just fine for the uh, Legacy Indigo series. Uh, just what happens on the home screen is a little different. Please ignore the toggle switches. This machine is used for training. Uh, these are bugs that we use in our factory schools. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn this machine on. All right, it says making ice. And at this point, a good thing to do is to navigate your menu, see what you're supposed to be at. We're gonna to go to my favorite screen on the machine. So menu, service, data, real-time data, and I'm gonna choose inputs. Well, went to time and temp. Now we're in inputs. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a water purge. It's a timed purge, regardless of what water level is in the trough or not, this is gonna happen every time. But what we're waiting for is pre-chill here. Shortly, uh, you're gonna hear a click. That's gonna be the harvest valve and any associated air pump. This machine does have an air pump, so that's what you'll hear first. There's the harvest valve. And the contactor and the compressor. All right, so what we're gonna do now is let the camera kind of come through and see, does this fan come on? Notice, I don't have gauges on this machine. We don't need gauges. We understand what the call was beforehand. So we're gonna take a look at that fan and see if it's running. And notice, hey, that fan is not currently running and our head pressure is probably climbing. All right. Notice all the sound of the machine went away. At this point, what you, the only place you'll ever see this is in real-time data. You'll see HPCO active delay. But if we were at the home screen, all you see is off. The machine goes to off. Now keep in mind what we're gonna do at this point is I'm going to unplug this machine and then we're gonna go over what we do with the fan cycle switch. So uh, give us a second to uh, get up to the top of the machine and we'll show you some more steps. But this is line voltage. You do not wanna do all this live. All right. All right, so you only really need a couple of tools here. I'm gonna use a spade terminal to work as my jumper. I know a lot of you in the field will do something else and a pair of needle nose. I've got two pressure switches right here. This one with the black wires, it says fan CYC for fan cycle and this is my high pressure switch. Leave this one alone, that's not what we're dealing with here. The fan's not running, fan's controlled by a pressure switch. So I'm gonna pull my wires off here. Again, this machine is unplugged because we wanna be safe. All right, so I got those two wires off. This is tied in with the load side of the contactor. So when the contactor's pulled in and our pressure builds, it makes this switch. Well, we're gonna make the switch for us here to verify what's going on with our, with our fan. Another thing we're gonna look at before we start is, does this fan spin? So I come in here, I know it gets pretty tight, but that fan spins without a problem, just by my hand. So that tells me that everything here is going well. So we're gonna plug this machine back in and get back to the front of the ice maker. All right, our screen's booting back up. Again, when you're, you, when you're uh, doing anything to line voltage uh, portions of the machine, you want to check that you've secured power like we did. It booted back up. So I'm gonna go back to the same area I was in before. So menu, service, data, real-time data. I'm gonna go back to inputs. Well, it's still at the HPCO because there's a battery in that board. So it's trying to let the delay go through. That's a 10 minute delay. So first thing I can do, machine's off. I'm gonna go back to where I was. Now it says we're off. So I'm gonna start the machine. We're back in that water purge. Again, guys, this is a 45 second purge. 
But then we go through a five second equalization and a five second compressor startup. You won't see that on the screen because the screen just can't react that fast. So it's about 55 seconds until we're actually in the freeze sequence. Well, the pre-chill first, but before we are trying to cool anything down. There's our harvest valve and our air pump. Contactor just pulled in. What we're gonna do is go and check that fan out again. Notice before, that fan didn't run. Now, with that switch bypassed and the compressor running, contactor pulled in, the fan is running. So, we knew that this machine was shutting off on high pressure cutout beforehand. We troubleshot it, we did all this without gauges. The machine was shutting off, we saw HPCO active delay in real time data, we checked does the fan spin freely by hand, and all we did was bypass the pressure switch. Fan's running, this machine's gonna make ice. What you need to do now is go to your local Manitowoc distributor, get yourself a fan cycle switch and a dryer. You're gonna recover the gas from this system, cut out the old switch and old dryer, braze in new, recharge to the nameplate weight, and you're gonna be back to making ice like normal. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Ice Tech Facts.